John Scully, author of Moonshot, former CEO of both Pepsi and Apple, entrepreneur and mentor. So nice to talk to you. Thank you, Rhonda. What publicly traded CEO do you most admire today? Elon Musk. Uh, if you say, who is the closest to Steve Jobs? Um, there's only one name that is close to Steve Jobs, um, and it's Elon Musk. Uh, why? Because he's literally inventing uh, entirely new industries. He's taking on ambitious projects that uh, most of us wouldn't even think about as possible, and he's turning them into incredibly valuable businesses with products that people love. But look at Tesla. I mean, can you imagine if um, Tesla had been started uh, as a joint venture between General Motors and Tesla? You know, what it might look like today? It would probably look like the Chevy Volt. Uh, <laughs> and what did he do? He took on a project uh, that almost bankrupt him. Uh, he made his money with PayPal, and yet he created a company today that has half the market cap of General Motors, and that's a public company. He then went on and started SpaceX uh, and said, uh, I think that the free enterprise system can build a better alternative than what the government has been building before in terms of launch vehicles into space. Um, and now he's having terrific success with that. Uh, he just recently announced Tesla Energy, uh, which is the power wall, and he's going in and taking solar and not only giving you a way to charge your Teslas at home, but he's also giving you a way to you know, have an alternative energy source at home. Uh, so this is a man of just incredible talent. He's a 360 executive, one who can manage every aspect of what it takes to build a successful business. Well, I wonder if some of these traditional automakers should be a little more worried than they are. Obviously, the Tesla price points are different, but in time, they might not be. Well, it's, it's very hard uh, when you're inside of these large corporations, particularly ones that have been around for you know, many, many decades, to change the direction of the battleship. So um, there's some talented executives in places like uh, General Motors and IBM and some of these companies that have been going through really challenging times. Uh, and even with talented CEOs, uh, it's very, very hard to change a culture. So I talked about Facebook making this remarkable pivot in three years, but Facebook is only 10 years old, and the founder is still there. But what do you do when you're inside of IBM and the founders aren't there, and you're trying to pivot uh, from a decade where IBM had continually taken um, you know, big uh, stock buybacks and cash dividends and built the market value of the company, but they missed the cloud. Uh, who was there first? A company that wasn't even in that business. You know, Amazon came out with uh, AWS, Amazon Web Services, and they are now the largest public cloud company. And Microsoft has followed them, and Google has followed them, and now you know, dragging up from behind is IBM. And the CEO clearly understands that now, and they're making the right decisions today. But these are decisions that should have been made six or seven years ago. And so it's very, very hard in these traditional companies to be able to pivot as fast as, say, a Facebook can pivot. John Scully, author of Moonshot, it's been great chatting with you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rhonda.